going to show you a flip through of my first steampunk journal ever. Welcome, this is Barbara from Vienna, Austria. This is a design team project for, for the Digital Collage Club for which you can find discount codes in the description box as well as the names of all the downloads I used for this journal. Also, I linked as much of the supplies I used for this journal as I could find for you down below as well. And if you're interested in seeing how I constructed this journal, you will also find links for those two videos below, as well as a short music only version of this flip through. I was happy and scared at the same time when Tina from the Digital Collage Club challenged me to create a project with a steampunk theme. I have loved this theme for a really long time and I never thought I could do it justice feeling pretty intimidated because this theme to me is so epic. I started with some research of how steampunk is actually defined and what elements are typically used and I explain all of that in part one in the construction video. Once I got into it, it started having a life of its own and soon it turned into a lady steampunk inspired journal and I'm really pleased how it turned out. So without further ado, let's get into it. So as you can see, it is spiral bound. I used my cinch from We Are Memory Keepers. I added this chain with charms that are all stained with my beloved copper gilding wax. A similar product is linked below. I have, I think, almost used half of the pot <laughs> only for this journal. This was the perfect journal to use all this gilding wax. I just had a blast. So the chain that I used here was silver and I just used some of the gilding wax as well as some Tim Holtz alcohol ink in caramel stain it a few times so that it gets rid of all the silver shiny parts and as you can see here the charms i had to add a wooden butterfly to fit our theme because we have lots of butterflies in here i have some leaves i have of course cogwheels i have buttons keys and a big clock yeah, the front of the cover we've done together in part one of the construction video. This is the back. These are Tim Holtz papers. So the papers I've used or the, the cardstock I've used are Tim Holtz French Industrial and Tim Holtz wall paper, no, wallflower paper. <laughs> and here you see, see we've added some rivet brads here to the sides and as a closure I also have a chain that is fastened here with a rivet brad and just has a bulldog clip here to keep it closed which is also aged a bit or grunged up with my copper and I added a little ace card charm. For, for the cover here, the die I used is this one, which is from AliExpress. That will be linked below for you as well as all the other supplies. This is, is uh, Tim, Tim Holtz, what are they called? They're called quote chips. So these are the quote chips. And as some of you have advised me for, for some other places where I used it in the journal because they are very thick maybe you can see it here. I was able to very easily take off the thick layers with a Stanley knife. So that was, that was really helpful. Okay, moving into the journal finally. So we have here a pocket for which I used a 3D alterations. What are they called? Thinlet? What are they called? <laughs> Texture fades. So this is the one, you can find it linked below. They look like this and like this and you just run it through your die cut machine. It took some practicing because they are so thick so I had to figure out how many plates to use in order to make it work and I think I just have the base plate, the thick one 
and then one on top if I remember correctly, but machines might be different as well. So added some rivets here, added some gears. I did also, so, so these, are, these are paper gears and I splurged and got myself this beautiful big Z L die from Tim Holtz. It's an alterations die. I'm not sure I will be able to link it below. I got this from a German seller. I'll see if I can still find this somewhere. I think this is quite old. So I was really, really happy to be able to get this. So then I made this file folder with a file folder die from AliExpress. I will link that below. And I put in the die in the machine so that it would stop here so that it wouldn't cut the end off and I, and I had a double layer of the cardstock which I had folded here so this is how I got the file folder and not just the the single piece I hope that made sense this here is an image from the digital collage club that I cut out from one of the cards added some avocado dyed cheesecloth underneath and some gears which so all the gears and all the metal pieces and everything, I have added this copper gilding wax to. <laughs> and inside you see another one of those paper cog wheels with some avocado dyed paper for some journaling space. So one of my objectives for this journal was to add lots of journaling space because at the beginning it, it didn't have any. So here I had some butterflies in various sizes that I had cut in the middle. I have roughed up the wings. You will see me do this one in part one of the construction video. And then I just added some splattering on both sides, some gilding wax on and some distressing with vintage photo on both sides and then just added the gears. This is an image from the Digital Collage Club with a black doily underneath. Here I've attached with, again, another one of those stained bulldog clips, a kind of like a little journal on its own. This one I made with another one of the 3D texture plates, which is this one, which you can also find below. I love this one even more than the other one. So this is what it looks like. And it gives you this really, really cool design and of course I've gone around it with with my copper front and back so that's really cool I think then this is one of my own photos that I have printed then added this Tim Holtz quote chip where I took off the backing so it's really flat added this metal leaf and this metal flower here there's some cheesecloth and some lace underneath as well this is an image from the Digital Collage Club that I kind of extracted from one of the cards and then printed on my avocado dyed paper. All of the paper in here is edged with vintage photo. I did a little bit of stamping. This one here is just coffee dyed. And the yellow you see here are splatters with my Wild Honey Distress Stain that I added while the paper was still wet. And I attach these pages with a tiny, tiny, I think you probably can't even see it, tiny, tiny staples. One, two, three from the outside going in. So there maybe you can see them, very easy. It says look for the magic. Yeah, so that's its own little journal there. You can also journal on this. I think it's the design is light enough for journaling. Then here we have some more journaling space. So here's some metal as well with some lace underneath. And we can open this like that. And we have some more butterfly stamping. This is again my avocado dyed paper. The back is empty. For some more journaling space and the metal piece keeps it down nicely so on this page i added a 
metal piece that I had gotten as a present a long time ago. I got a few of these metal plates a long time ago. I've added the copper wax and I added, this is a photo that I had and this is from a die cut I have. And then I added a flat metal key and again, one of those floral embellishments with some cheesecloth and lace underneath. And the back has a stamp of a sun for more journaling space. And that fits in there nicely. This is of course the Tim Holtz Memoranda paper. Here this also was a page that we did in the, this was in part two of my construction video. So I used one of the metal keys and I added some butterfly wings, which I cut out of one of the printouts from the club. I, I attached this feather underneath and some lace and inside I made a tag. So up on top here, we have one of the gears as a topper for the tag. These here are prints. These are actually freebies from Wonderful Artie Maze. I will link those below for you as well. And then this is an image from the club, from one of the cards that I just cut out, added this metal key, added a black feather underneath and some more cheesecloth. And again, you see here, this is the texture plate from Tim Holtz that I used as a base, which I grunged up with my vintage photo. The envelope is coffee dyed and edged with the copper gilding wax on all the edges. And it serves as a belly band. So in the belly band tucked in, we have another little tiny journal. On the front, it has some more of these butterfly wings which I distressed and then added some gold and some also some gold embossing. There's a little like clock imprint. I don't know if you can see it well. There's some lace here. Then this is from the club. I just added some stenciling with the copper, which says art and the splash here. And the back you can journal as well. All of my cards and tags and everything are backed with some paper and yeah and then it's it's again edged with the copper all around front and back and then inside we just have a few pieces i didn't stamp anything on there i thought you could do whatever you want with this but there's definitely enough drilling space it is stitched with a three hole pamphlet stitch and some embroidery thread. So that tucks in there. Next is some more journaling space here. Again, this is an image from the club, which I have extracted and printed on my avocado dyed paper. Here's another one of those butterfly wings that I have distressed, added a paper gear here. This here, is from a huge poster I had, which was full of different clocks and I cut all those clocks out. So this is one of the bigger ones. And I did some stenciling here with the copper again, number. And inside we have yet another tiny booklet. This is again, these are images from the club. I edged them again with the copper and I added one of these flowers and then I added two tiny eyelets as I would for a like real journal and then you can untie it and inside there's the smallest of the butterflies which I have distressed and added as tuck spots and so now in both tuck spots you have these are from the club and you have them back you can journal on them and you could add your own photos or whatever you want and some more butterflies up there. I love this ongoing butterfly theme, I must say. Here's another one of those pockets made with the 3D texture, pa te texture plate. <laughs> um, added some rivets here. And then this is another one of the tags I made. Here's a wing, there's a feather. This is again a, an image from the collage club, cheesecloth, the, the back is empty. 
And you could also journal here. Here's a little pocket. I added this flower here, punching out cardstock with this little punch. I just, I punched out two of them and I added the copper and you can turn it and I just added it with a brad. And in here are two round tags. One is this, so these are both images from the club and it has movable clock hands. And this is what this one looks like in the back. And then there's this one. I added again some copper stenciling with numbers and I added some stenciling in the back. Here on the back side we have a pocket which you can journal on. This stamp is also from the club that I printed directly on my paper. Inside you can find another journaling card from the club and I just stamped this postcard thing on it. Here we have a pocket made from lace and it again has one of these florals here. This is again one of my own images because I wanted to have a little bit of romance in this journal <laughs> and I really think this picture is so adorable. This here is of course a can, like a can opener and this is an idea I got from Eva from Bohemian Crafting to use these in your journals. I think they are so much fun and here it says your story matters backed with coffee stained paper and there's a little lock heart there so there's some more journaling space there is some stenciling here of some gears here i just stamped the balloons i believe you can journal here this this one is a printout of one of the digitals printed directly on transparent paper i did put some copper on the wings and I made it into a pocket by gluing it down. And inside is an image actually from, and it's backed with some beautiful stamping. And this is actually an image from a book I recently found at my charity shop, which is an old vintage book on physics. So I thought this was perfect to add some images in our journal so this is one of those original book images don't please don't ask me to explain you what it is explain to you what it is <laughs> um here we have another metal tuck spot on the top and this is again one of my photos added some of the paper gears added a beautiful black feather and some cheesecloth underneath. I really, really love this. Edged again with more of the copper and some coffee dyed paper in the back for journaling. So that fits in here. Next, we have this little coin envelope. Yeah, this is the page where originally in the second part of my construction videos, I actually had this here attached around it. So I had like this with elastics and it went around here and the flower was in the back and that just was way too thick. It just was way too bulky for this journal. So I took it off. Maybe I'll use it for something else, maybe for a closer for a journal. And instead I have this, I don't know how much thinner this actually turned out to be. <laughs> so again, I used the 3D texture plate and I added one of the spinners from Tim Holtz and a little clock face there. And this here, I got at the hardware store. It's just one of these hooks you can put in the back of a picture to hang on your wall. So I attached it with two brands to this pocket that I made and I attached it here with a little cogwheel, a metal cogwheel and another brand. And then you can turn this. So then this, sorry, you didn't see that. You can turn this here and then this flips down and then you can open it. And on the inside, we have another beautiful journaling card from the club. 
And in the back here, I added one of those quote chips and it has a little pocket here with two tags from the club, both keys. And you could also actually journal here. So that goes back in its little pockets. This is just some decoration. This is again a print from the club where I have added this metal flower and this metal leaf that I had and a black feather and some cheesecloth. And on this side, we have another tuck spot with the paper. I say paper, but actually it's, of course, not paper, it's cardstock. The cogwheels, one of those flowers again. And in here we have some more journaling space with coffee dye. This is again an image from the club that I've cut out from one of the cards. And so lots of journaling space on both sides. And that just slips into there. Next, we have another one of those huge clocks from the poster that I had. I only added some stenciling here with the number. This one is again from the club. I have added some turning clock hands again. And there's some journaling space here and it says take your time and there's a little sun and some nice stained avocado dyed paper. More journaling space. Again, this is printed directly from the club onto the paper. Another tuck spot with the wheels and the metal flower. This is again an image from the club. This is the same one I used in the front here, just enlarged. So I enlarged this tag before printing. They're usually not this big and I added some lace here and another feather, some cheesecloth, a metal butterfly and a metal flower. So it's quite bulky actually, but I really love the dimension of it and some more space back here. And that slips in there. This pocket we made in my part two of the construction video. What I added since then is some stenciling of numbers here, some lace here, and I stuck in the top one of these cutouts from the physics book with some splatters with the wild honey distress stain and journaling space and copper edging. And I also put something inside. So this here is wire and added some cogwheels here. And inside we have another print from the club. Only thing I've added is some more stenciling here of the numbers and a metal piece in the back here for decoration. And you can journal in the back. Here we have another tag. Again, you, as a topper, I used one of the paper cogwheels that I just cut in half and then attached. This is again, one of the numbers from RD Mays. This is one of the images from the Collage Club, cheesecloth, black feather, and some small cogwheels. And it just slips right in there in the tuck spot. Another little pocket. Again, added one of these flowers that I had on the other one, some spent stenciling here. This is again from the club, just added the number and some more space in the back for journaling. On the other side, I have one of my own photos again. This is, I think, one of my favorite photos. Again, some copper stenciling here and one of the quote chips from Tim Holtz, flattened out. This is another one of the club prints that I've printed directly on some transparent paper, added some copper on the wings and on the edge. 
one of the butterfly wings with some cogwheels on it. This page we've made in part two of the construction video. It is used, so I used this stencil, this thinlet here, a die from Tim Holtz Alterations. Die looks like this. It's also linked below for you. And I just stuck in a lot of the smaller ephemera from the club. I think I sized them down a little bit. I don't remember now, to be honest, maybe. And some of the cute little tags that are also in some of the kits. Here we have journaling space. There's some stamping here of some pocket watches. This we also did in part two of the construction video with the wiring here and the brads. This is an image from the club with some journaling space here and some cogwheels stamped there. Here we have again the cogwheels from the alterations texture plate with, three, uh, with four rivets here and again an original book page from this science book. And here is a portrait of Isaac Newton. Here I wanted to add some more journaling space. This is again an image from the club with a metal leaf cheesecloth underneath and some lace and then it opens up and here we have another one of these paper die parts and some lace underneath and then it opens so it's long and you have a lot of writing space there and there's and it actually closes with a magnet and in here Underneath that space is actually also a pocket. And then here we have another romantic picture. This is another photo that I had from my thrift store and I think it's adorable. So I added this coat chip saying in my heart, added some cheesecloth underneath and some lace. And this is again from the die cuts. And on the back it says own your story. And then we have the last butterfly wheel with a paper cog wheel. And here we have like a puffy sticker with a lock and just the back side. In case you're interested, these are up the approximate dimensions of this journal. And it only has 16 pages in total. I did end up taking three or four pages out because it was just too bulky. I would love to hear from you in the comments below. What is your favorite theme for making a journal? Or do you not like using themes for your journals? Your support on this channel means the world to me. If you would hit that like button, it would mean more than you know. Love you guys. Mwah, mwah.